two, three, four, five, six. Well, let's go. Come on. Get up there. Hey! If I just do that every night, I'd be fit and trim. Good afternoon everybody. We're up here at site two and where the fat hogs are, this is the biggest pigs that we got on the farm. And today we're gonna go through and sort and we're gonna load pigs tonight at 12.30 and one o'clock. We got these two loads and then Monday of the following week, we're gonna dump this barn and get all the pigs out and then we're gonna have to get it all ready, fix anything that needs to be fixed and we'll be getting baby wiener pigs in here. The cycle never ends. Earlier this morning, we loaded out over stocks at my site uh, at 3 a.m. We got up at 2.30, got the chores done, then we had a little bit of a nap, and then now we're back at it to do some more pig work. But when you're not used to getting up at 2.30, 3 o'clock, it, it kind of wears you down, and I want to be refreshed for tonight's loads. Dad already went through and marked a bunch of these pigs. Assuming the blue marks are gonna go, um, yeah, definitely the blue marks are going to go because that pig right there is a little little. But he already went through and marked. We uh, shut the feeders off in this south room. That's where the majority of these pigs are going to be going out tonight. The north room's got a few left, but shutting off the feeders before the pigs go out when you get down to the end of a group is a smart move because it's just less feed you got to dump in the pit and it's it's better for your manure quality and just better for the long run if you don't have to dump feed into the pit so if you can strategically shut your feeders off at the right time and get the pigs so they can eat them out and then they go out that same night that's perfect get out of the way the best of the best. These pigs did not live up to their genetic potential. They didn't. Well, that's gonna conclude sorting for today. Went pretty easy. Like I said, when you get down to the nitty gritty, you don't need three people to sort because we got plenty of space. There's always a few pigs that get on your nerves, but other than that, nothing too crazy. Um, she's gonna be dad and I tonight, uh, 12.30 and 1 a.m. Couldn't find a third person. 
that's just the problem with uh, livestock labor nowadays. It's really hard to find anybody to do help you with anything. Um, we only have a few guys, a couple guys that help us here and there, but they can't always make it. So it is what it is. Morning, folks. It is 12:15 in the morning, and let's go load some piggies. Both trucks are already here, so that's nice. We won't have to be waiting on anybody. That's just nice, because it's always a pain in the butt when you gotta wait on a trucker and you're all ready to go. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. We did a good job, just two, just two of us. Yeah, yeah. Teamwork makes dream work. A lot of the pigs in the south room are gone, so tomorrow we will probably come up here. Maybe not tomorrow. Well, today, because yeah. it's midnight. So maybe today or tomorrow, Saturday, we'll come up here and we'll move some pigs around. And we should be able to just get move all those pigs to the south side and then in that north room we could probably move all the pigs in here yeah we could probably do that and then you can go to washing no <laughs> not washing done that been there done that don't want to do that again done it a few times actually but it ain't worth the time got too much stuff to do but yeah went pretty well we I think we did a good job of planning out our planning out our load because we made sure all the pigs were all up in the front here. So it made it easy for us and we didn't have to run all around and waste time going all the way to the end. With my short little legs, it's nice to save as many steps as possible. I will say it's good that he's got a short spine because loading those pigs 
that will mess your back up pretty quickly. It's not and for the faint of heart. It is not for the faint of heart. You're a, you're a seasoned veteran. Well, you know what? The advantage is when I grew up doing it and you don't know any better, it's like being Amish. As long as you don't know any better, it's okay. So I'm okay. You wanna go get a beer? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, probably not. Bowl of cereal though? Bowl of cereal for sure. Bacon? Bacon? Sriracha? Oh gosh, I don't know if I wanna work that hard. <laughs>